That looks like a homemade weapon. <laughs> Tonight, high school students out of control playing with guns and explosives. Plus the new cruise ship scandal. We reveal the photos P&O don't want you to see. They've got some predator on the boat. Also, weather warning how climate change is going to affect the way we live. And age, is it really a barrier for women in TV? Hello, I'm Tracy Grimshaw. Welcome to A Current Affair. Also tonight, Australia's smartest kid, the 12-year-old who's already a uni student. And famous friends, the celebrity power mates set to rule Hollywood. Peter Garrett there, and you can find out more about our changing climate and how it affects you at our 9MSN website. Well, he's only 12, but already he's been compared to Einstein. Michael Kelly is a child genius, and instead of starting Year 7 this year, he's going to university. Chris Allen with the story of the Aussie boy whose eyes are set on winning a Nobel Prize. Well, this is my university card that I'm starting at the end of this month, and yeah. So you're off to university? Yep. At just 12, Michael Kelly has scooted past a generation to become our youngest ever uni students. I'm actually going to be with like 20 year olds, so the only problem will be is that I will, I'll be the only student at university who won't be able to drive to university. <laughs> That's right, you'll have to get mum to take you. Yeah. Times e, which is a, a constant of about 2.71 to the power of k, which is a specific constant like... Michael's understanding of physics and maths is remarkable. Complicated. <laughs> By rights, Michael should be just starting high school. Instead, he's finishing off grade 12 while studying part-time at uni. His schoolmates may tower over him, but they can't keep up with him academically. So, Michael, do you feel special or different in any way? Well, the only difference is my best friend is six foot one and a half, so the only difference is, like, the height difference. But you don't feel any different to anybody else other than that? No. Checkmate. Oh, no! Dad Joseph gave up oh, trying no. to beat Michael at chess a long yeah. time ago. Oh. In fact, he's not sure where Michael came from. I got amazed. I thought it must be the milkman because it couldn't have been us. Do you have any idea how high his IQ is? It came up at the 99.7 percentile. So he's in the top few percent of... Top few, yes. There's, what, 0.3 of people above him. Mum Linda says by the time he was four, Michael was reading and writing. At six, he was doing sums using infinity. At ten, he completed six months of Year 11 calculus in six hours. And just last year, a scientist compared Michael to Einstein. I want to be a theoretical physicist. I guess most of us don't even know what that is. What do they do? They find formulas to link the universe together. OK, guys, can anybody tell me what a capacitor is? OK, Michael? Well, it's like a thing that holds a charge, so if you want well, to... Well, he is one of Australia's today. brainiest kids. Michael's parents say he's still a kid who likes to play sport and go to the movies. And Mum Linda says the secret to bringing up a talented child is to keep them interested. We've never told Michael he's got to go and study or force him to do it, and it's always been fun. And if you want to actually punish him, you say you can't study, and he actually gets upset. So it's like reverse psychology. I want to finish my theoretical physics PhD before I get my driver's license because then when I go to schoolies, when I get my driver's license, I can say, hi, can I please book a room for Professor Michael Kelly? And he's like, what do you mean? You're not a professor. And after schoolies, Michael wants to take on the world, or rather, the universe. I want to win a Nobel Prize and possibly even a field award. In mathematics? Yeah, which is like a Nobel Prize in mathematics. How do you help a boy like that with his homework? Chris Allen there. And coming up after the break, they may be best pals for the photographers, but are famous friends really such good mates?